Okay, we're back on the bike now again. So I'm going to hook up these oil lines over here right now. So, to get all these put back on here, we're going to use squeeze style clamps. There's this stuff here. Customer sent his own clamps, so we use his own clamps. All right, so these are just a matter of hooking these back up. And put a little bit of oil in it, let it drain in, we should be fine. Should be no big deal. Piece at a time, eventually gets done. So this is our return line right here. Return line goes on the inner one over here. Squeeze clamp on there. These don't look like the right clamps to me, but they look a little small. Yeah. You can't even put them on the damn line, it's not a good sign. All the same. Look all the same. There's a 3 8 one. Give me a bunch of 5 16 ones. They're worthless. Okay, this is what the return. Return goes on the inside. So that's over here. This one here is that one. That one goes up here, dumbass. Where do you want it? Where did that come from? Oh. Uh, what, that, that light he had that we didn't use because it was kind of weird. So is that the missing light I couldn't find earlier I was looking for? What? Is that the missing light I couldn't find earlier? Mm, I don't know. No, it was in that thing that Justin had. The light that had the two on the end and the two in the middle. Alright, I'm back hooking up the line here. I just push down the uh, vent line for the motor, breather line. Let's see here. Squeeze clamp on this thing. Yeah. Hard to get in here. Just an old used hose I got laying around. It's got some pre-bent curves in it, so see that's pre-bent to go right like this. So it's perfect for dumping back here. But he probably won't like this, so we'll see. I like how it just comes out here and just dumps straight down off the angle. 
change it on the other side here though. So I just put something like that, trim it a little bit on the bottom, and it's shooting in the right direction. Put a zip tie right there if you want, hold it there, and it dumps out the back side. Go underneath the brake line maybe. Pretty good, it's hidden. Tucks in real good, it's clean, cut it right under here and it should be on the exhaust, blows out, it's not blowing a tire. You know, when you dump it straight down like he did like this, straight down, all it does is turbulent off the bike and blows back all, all through here, it just gets all wet, just circles around. So. Helps to not have it that way. Yeah, right, we'll figure out we're gonna do that later. It's long enough, I don't have to worry about it. Okay, and I'm gonna dump this thing in here. Get oil on this thing already or not? I don't remember. Probably does. Probably why I got the cork in the hole here. I got braking oil in the motor. I'll mix with it. Ah. Clamp them over there. Force it. I'll make it go. Figure it out. To me, he's probably got it going like this, it looks like to me. All right, it's tied in good. We'll have to see what kind of exhaust clearance we got, but for now it looks pretty good. It's going up all the way. So it comes out of the top of the tank here. It looks like they're already pre-fitted. They're pre-formed this way. You gotta be careful about rubbing on top of the sharp edges down here. So it's there, but it's not really rubbing too hard against it. This one just laying right here. So obviously that's how it was. Okay, so those are all squeezed on there good. I gotta figure out what he wants his gauge to be. Don't know. All right. So now we need to. I gotta wire up the ignition. Oh, I hate that rotor being like that. It sucks. Now well, he's got this wire coming out from under the bike. Hey, it's already got an oil leak on it. Look at that. He ain't done anything yet. No, he started yet. It's got an oil leak. Probably coming off the oil pump gasket. Okay, um, see so you had it coming out under the bike here, which I did not like at all. There it is right here. There's where it's been cut. Okay, so I'm going to pull that down so i got access to it. 
So I'm going to put a two wire plug on this so I can connect it back together. Looks like it's only a two wire. So we'll get ourselves a two wire Deutsch connector. There's the ignition module here. So I need to get a Deutsch connector to tighten that all up. You get a stripper and a clamp. You know, all kind of junk. All right, we'll be back. Okay, these are the uh, <coughs> quick disconnect Deutsch connectors, which is now NAPS. It's a new name for them. You know, these are the miniature ones, which are a little bit smaller than the, uh, the big ones. So these are two wire. So we have two wires that go in the back. So I'm going to stick these down here for him to connect them. He'll be happy. So we'll do this. I can do this one over here. And this is the uh, tool for doing it. One of the tools, one I'm using. All right, so let's get this handled here. These are pretty easy to use. Basically just pull it back a little bit, strip away. So you can put the female on this side or the male on this side. There's two different ways of doing it. Usually I put the male on the side, I can take on and off all the time. That's it's a bit smaller. Less crap bouncing around on the bike when you're working on it. It doesn't fit, we'll make it fit, right? Let's just pull them up. Stick it through the handle. Helps to open it up though. Stick in there, make sure it lines up with the jaws right there, so we can squeeze it down, like that, it'll squeeze. You grab one of the wires here, stick it in there as far as it goes in. This has a crimp for the wire and it has a strain relief for the uh, rest of it. So I squeeze it to get it started, make sure it centers up in there like that. Don't want to go in. A big jump. All right. Do the other one. Stick it until it hits the stop. Squeeze it. Like that. Always pull on to make sure they're on. So the first one's a crimp, the second one is a strain relief. It, it makes the wire bend back here in the plastic instead of right where you crimped it. See how it bends more solid. Like that. And when you solder, it makes it very brittle through here, very rigid. It bends right there and it wants to break right where you solder it. Also weakens the wire from the heat. That's why soldering is not the best. You know everybody says it is. It isn't. Alright, so you just take this and shove it through the hole here. Doesn't really matter which way it goes what, as long as they match up on the other side. These go through until you hear them pop. Hmm. Not too hard. 
part. There it goes. Here we go. Pop, pop. They're almost flush. You know, you're in there good. This is a wedge that holds it in there. Just push it in until it goes all the way in. Let's see, which way is this going to go? There it goes. Just like that. Push it all the way down. There you go. Nice and protected in there. You got a silicon uh, seal on the back side so moisture stays out. And it's easy to work with. Nice and simple. Okay, the other one you do the same way, except we have to do it on the bike. So the female receptacle takes the male terminal. Never mix male, male, female, female. It doesn't work that way. It has to be mixed to work. Okay, so I gotta crawl into the bike over here and do the same thing up ahead here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, I did something I didn't do right. See, I put that on before I stuck it through here. Doesn't work too good. I gotta take this back apart. And we'll do that in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and get this side done. Ugh. Wire down under here. Here's the ratchet. So same pro, same way of doing it. Doesn't matter which one you use, they both go in the same way. Same crimp. Where's my hole at? Up, huh? uh, it's darker now, I can't see, that's one problem. Oh, that's the wires in there too deep. Obviously, I didn't have the stamp, stamp on it. So, that was a smooth job. Yep. So I crimped in the wire, it flipped up in the air, and now it's sticking up in the air because it's too damn much, too much length. So that all needs to be cut back. Obviously, I didn't have a stop plate in there far enough. Thought I did. Obviously, I did not. Yeah, that one looks correct. Yeah, imagine that. Well, on my hand under the spike. Oh, 
sharp edge on that thing. Cut the piss out of you. Knock it down. Won't hurt me now. Okay, where's the dike side? All right, I'm gonna try to get some of this excess wire off of here. Not likely gonna happen very good, but I'll try. Nope. Stakes are too dull. Take that wire and bend it back on itself, it should be all right. It'll go in the plug hard, but it'll go in. dark around here. I see nothing. Pop, pop. It appears to be in there. So I'll hold on with a little plier. Yeah. All right, so now I can take this back off. Let's see, they have a little hook tool they use easier for most of these. This one, I don't know if it'll do that. Doesn't look like it's going to come out that way. Nope. So you need some kind of a little dinky pair of even though those pliers or something to get that out. Miniature tools I don't have. I'm trying to dig in behind it without breaking the tool off. You know, so I'm bending the tool, I'm pushing so hard on it. Probably not a good deal. So I need some needle nose or something to get in there with. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we're back. I got out with a little hook. Okay, now there's a little tab in here. You just stick your screwdriver in there and bend it back a little bit. And it comes right off. It all just comes straight out, see? Nice and easy. What's nice about doors, you can fix it on the side of the road real easy. Simple little tools. 
Okay, I'm going to put this in the cam cover up here this time. in it. Okay, all you do is grab your plug. Put that one where the way it goes. The white one was toward the front. The blue one's toward the back. Double check real quick. Yep. Pushing together. They're all the way up, they're all the way up. Mm -hmm. Put our wedge back in. Now, if they add a little hole right in here, you can put the little hook in there and pull it out. This piece right here, you stick in the hole and you can yank it out. I don't know why they didn't do that. Make it too easy, I guess. Okay. Like that. Boom, you're connected. You want to take it off? Pull it off. Boom, motor's out. So you pull the wire out, and you do the same thing. You disconnect it, pop the plug, pop the wire, pull the plug out, pull it out. Boom, done. Quick and simple. You don't have to deal with the thing being a like it was. It's just going to hang over here. Tight. Plug is right there above everything, it's not in the way. Not too noticeable. We still got some room over here to adjust this over here pretty you know, easily. Whatever it needs to be. Okay, rotate it till the screw lines up. Back Scooby. Lots of parts everywhere. Okay, here's our tower screw we need. I think he had a little washer someplace. There's the washer you got under one.
run them until they touch and back them off so we can move the plate. Okay. Should be somewhere in that area. Okay, we'll have to make sure we're on top dead center and then adjust this thing accordingly. Just hold it fully advanced and you rotate it to get in the right spot. Okay. That part's done. Okay, let me get all this cleaned up, we'll be back.